New details tonight on a registered level three sex offender now accused of kidnapping a child in Burville. Police say Chandler Cardenti was previously convicted of child molestation in 2014 and has been repeatedly charged for failing to notify a change of address. 12 News reporter Matt Paddock tells us what he's learned about the new charges. Matt. Yeah, according to Burrowville Police, Cardenti was posing as a 17 year old on social media and was in contact with the child since July. Today, Cardenti was in court on multiple charges. That's every parent's nightmare. Burrowville Police taking immediate action on Friday after finding out a 12 year old had been reported missing after not coming home from school. That uh, the 12 year old girl was in the company of a 27 year old registered sex offender male by the name of Chandler Cardenti. Burrowville Chief of Police Stephen Lynch says Cardenti was posing as a 17 year old boy on social media. The relationship between Cardenti and the girl had started back in July. According to Lynch, the 12 year old girl leaving Burrowville Middle School at 2.30, but never got on the bus. Instead, getting into Cardenti's car on this strip of Route 102. On the bus to come home, but rather went out to the soccer field, through the woods, and into Cardenti in his waiting vehicle on the side of Route 102. Lynch says police believe that Cardenti was alone with the child until he caught wind that police were on the hunt. As soon as he learned that, he kicked the child out of his car. Leaving the 12-year-old girl alone, 30 minutes from home, along Jefferson Boulevard in Warwick. And so we believe that he, uh, Cardenti is kicking her out of the car in a ballpark of like 930. So you're looking at a minimum of seven hours together on Friday evening. And this girl was alone on the side of Jefferson Boulevard for two to three hours. Yes. Lynch tells us that the girl is currently being examined at Hasbro. And Lynch tells me Burrowville police are still investigating what happened between Cardente and that child during the seven hours before leaving her on Jefferson Boulevard. But reporting in studio, Matt Paddock, 12 News.